24H World, the U.S. arms company offers Ukraine to buy advanced combat UAVs for one U.S. dollar. General Atomics, the leading American manufacturer of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, has offered to sell to the Ukrainian government two MQ-9 Reaper drones for one dollar. According to the letter obtained by the Wall Street Journal, in addition to the symbolic price of one U.S. dollar, the agreement requires Kiev to pay about 10 million U.S. dollars to prepare and deploy the aircraft to Ukraine, as well as 8 million U.S. dollars annually to servicing and maintaining older drone models. The proposed plan would also include a ground control station that would allow drones to operate almost anywhere. Russia's foreign minister warned that the country could become the next Ukraine. Russia's RIA Novosti and Rossiya 24 media outlets have just published the contents of an interview with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, including his comments about the European country that will follow the same path as Ukraine and become an anti-Russian country. To the question of RIA Novosti and Rossiya 24 February 2nd that in your opinion, which country can follow the same path as Ukraine and become an anti-Russian country, Lavrov responded with how the West claims is currently considering Moldova for this role. Turkey summoned the ambassadors of nine Western countries about the closure of consulates. Turkey summoned ambassadors and representatives of nine Western countries to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs headquarters to protest the closure of a series of consulates in Istanbul due to security concerns. The Turkish Foreign Ministry summoned the ambassadors of the United States, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, the United Kingdom, Germany, Belgium, France, and Italy on February 2 to hand over an official note protesting the country's submission. Security Alert and Consulate Closure An Iranian couple received a prison sentence after posting a dance video. An Iranian couple, both social media influencers, were sentenced to prison after a video of them dancing on the main square in the capital Tehran went viral online. In the widely shared video, Astiyaz Hagai, 21, is dancing with her lover Amir Mohammad Ahmadi, 22, on Azadai Square without a hijab. The two posted the video themselves online. See details. The FBI continues to search the home of former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence. On February 2, U.S. media reported that the Justice Department was working with former Vice President Pence's legal team on a plan to organize a search of his home and office in the coming days. Meanwhile, information from Mr. Pence's legal team said that they have checked themselves and do not believe that there are still classified documents at his home or office. Pakistan convened a meeting of all parties to discuss ways to get out of the crisis. The Pakistani government is about to convene a conference with the participation of all parties to find solutions to help the country overcome the current serious political and economic crisis. The meeting is scheduled to take place in Islamabad on February 7. On February 2, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif sent an invitation to Tariqi Insaf Pti Party Chairman Imran Khan, the largest opposition party in Pakistani politics discovered more than 500,000 US dollars in the sofa at the house of the former deputy defense minister of Ukraine. Ukrainian authorities discovered a large amount of money in a sofa at the home of former deputy defense minister Oleksandr Marinyuk. The video of the search, which took place in August 2022, was published by the Ukraine's Kapravda newspaper on February 2. It shows investigators putting out piles of money, not only in Hryvnia but also in foreign currency. EU agrees to provide seventh package of military assistance to Ukraine. On February 2, the Council of Europe agreed to provide Ukraine with the seventh package of military assistance worth 500 million euros and 45 million euros for training activities of the European Union military assistance mission. EU, in Ukraine, Yomam Ukraine. Israel conducts air strikes in the Gaza Strip. On February 2, Israel carried out several air strikes on Gaza in response to a missile launch from the occupied Palestinian territory. There are currently no reports of casualties after the air strikes. The Pentagon believes that Ukraine cannot take back Crimea anytime soon. 
in a confidential press conference, four senior U.S. Department of Defense officials told lawmakers of the House Armed Services Committee that Ukrainian forces are unlikely to retake Crimea from the Russian military in the future. Near the